Well, hello everybody. Uh, I want to do a quick video on uh, how to set up build root with uh, Bluetooth in Wasp Berry Pi 3. And it's take me some time to understand all everything what should be done, but after I understand, it should be something like a quick video. So let's get started. Um, this is a build root at uh, 2017.05. A fresh new copy with uh, make uh, the 32 bit version, the make Raspberry Pi uh, dev config. So, this is the initial, I didn't do anything yet. So, let's start. First of all, um, we need to uh, search for the firmware, uh, firmware to add, and what we need is the uh, Raspberry Pi BT firmware. This will add um, the firmware, the BCM 4343A0.8HCD uh, to the target, to the, blue, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. And what else we need is the BlueZet. Okay, BlueZet is the, um, the library that uh, download the firmware and Give us all the utilities um, to work with um, um, with we need blues it utils. Ah, okay. So first of all, as usual, let's um, change the two chain and also um, use the EU dev. And everything here, and then blue Z. Now we have the blue Z utils because the internal tool chain is using the UC Lixi, but we were gonna have gonna use the external tool chain that uh, is ready for us and it's faster than uh, building the internal tool chain. So let's um. Uh, So let's select everything here. And also those uh, tools. This one is the uh, version 3, but we will need version 5 because um, additional um, changes for the uh, Raspberry Pi Broadcom chip firmware is exist in the latest, latest one. Even this one is a uh, version 5.44. We can change it to 5.45 on the uh, config. Okay, another change that we need to do, this is the important one, is going to the system configuration and delete this one because um, in Raspberry Pi 3. Um, the UART um, a TTY AMA0 was assigned to the Bluetooth and this overlay, this is the device tree overlay is reassign it again to the serial port so if we remove it here the post script will not add the, uh, will not add the overlay to the config.txt so this is very important Otherwise, we will not be able to initiate, to attach to the um, to the Bluetooth. So, I did everything here. So, we can exit and we can run mate. So, I already did it. And I have it um, here. Um, let's see something in out. Images of my config.txt. As we see, we don't have here the overlay. What else we need to do? The CMD line. We need to remove um, the uh, any any code that any line that related to the AMA0. 
so we need to replace the console to use the serial instead of the UART so this is important because the Bluetooth is using this uh, UART for now and um, that's it so we are ready after we build it and copy by the way we can go to packages blues at five utils and config dot in and sorry to 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 here and change the version to 5.45 because it already exists and we have some some fixes so we can change it here and we have the latest version of the blues it okay so once we done it and we have the uh, output images ready for us the SD card this file we can burn into to the SD and let's go to the Raspberry Pi tree so I uh, in uh, I put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi power up and there I need to do some some stuff because we are using uh, the SysV in it and not not systemd systemd in uh, Raspberry Pi for now it doesn't work for me I don't know I read somewhere that it's still a problem maybe somebody if, uh, uh, solved it or not but it's not so we are using the busy box in it and for that we need to do a couple of things the first so I did all the all the steps in the, the user profile just edit here one of them is to in, uh, load the kernel module ACI UART okay so once we load it we can see LS mode and we can see that the ACI UART is uh, loaded it will load also the BTBCM and also this uh, Bluetooth all of this this is because of the mod pop that is loading um, dependencies what else we need to do okay after we uh, we, lo we loaded the driver we need to download the firmware and start the module and the operation for doing that is the ACI touch okay and a lot of uh, saying on the internet what's going on with HCI touch and this is what explain I explained just now we need to remove the overlay and change the CMD line to use the serial port and not AMA0 once we do it the HCI attached will uh, succeed there is another um, a post that I uh, meet on Stack Overflow and somebody told me that we need to add additional sleep just before the firmware is, um, is loaded on the Bluesit package okay this is uh, also important uh, important and after we run this uh, command we should get a success uh, because uh, the a uh, tty am a0 is now now belonging to the bluetooth and we don't forget to uh, load the service uh, Bluetooth D this is the daemon that uh, Bluezet is working with the Bluezet uh, if you want to work with um, Bluetooth uh, CTL in order to power up we need this uh, this command <coughs> so um, after we have everything ready we can uh, we can see that the HCI con we can see that we have all the ACI zero and we can um, we, we can start work with the with the blue deal. And that's it it's, it was a quick video and this is one of the most problematic I think currently with the Raspberry Pi 3 because the changes was made to uh, to the hardware and uh, now we can we, we know how to build it with Bidwood so I hope it's helped you and thank you very much bye bye